Hey, this is Nick. Today I'm going to show you how to go from this to this in literally minutes. But before we start, I want to actually show you the pack that I've just released. Uh, you can find it uh, on Gumroad or Thingy Blender Market. And it includes like uh, quite a few details. It's uh, 50, detail, uh, 50 decals, sorry, the details. 50 decals uh, plus four free decals. And um, they're pretty much details. Most of them have subset and they include this bounce light emission um, whenever it's pertinent, you know, for example, here or here. This one doesn't have bounce and this one does. Like uh, there is actually quite a few of them. You can go check it out yourself. It's a pretty amazing pack. And and with the pack, there is going to be um, <clears throat> a couple of tutorials, actually four of them, um, very detailed on how to properly bake the bounce light. Uh, there is also the tutorial for actually how to fix up the normal map and uh, the AO curve height map, like after you screwed up with the geometry. I mean, this one was completely screwed, this decal, yeah, like when I baked it, it was horrible, but I'll, I'll talk about this later also. Um, yeah, just uh, this is the whole pack, basically. So. There is some really cool stuff in here, so make sure you go check it out if you like it. Um, buy it, it's gonna help me out, you know, like push more decals out there and, you know, more tutorials whenever I find something cool and interesting, right? So, yeah, thank you. Now we can begin. So yeah, I just baked this decal for you guys just to show you. Um, so we have, uh, I baked the, these settings like it's not too crazy shit, it's very basic. Um, I didn't want to waste time. But yeah, uh, as to uh, anti-aliasing in 512, whenever you bake for selling, just always bake at max. So bake uh, for anti-aliasing in 124 resolution, always. But anyway, this for time's sake, you know, I just wanted to avoid it. But anyway, um, I bake the emission, no bounce light, because this is gonna take forever. As you know, if you try to bake bounce light uh, with decal machine, it's just gonna take hours and hours, right? Like, I mean, this is a simple decal, maybe it's not gonna take that long, but like for complex decals, it will just take you forever, right? It's, it's pretty insane. So I'll show you a way to do it super quick. So uh, here we have our decal. I mean, it's nothing too fancy. I just finished baking it. Um, I'm just gonna save it, but I wanna show you something why I made it like this. So um, I'm gonna save it in tutorials, call it tutorial bounce. Okay, sweet, and it's gone. So now I'll deactivate it one second and I will show you. So there is a mission also in the back. The thing is that if I reactivate the decal, you cannot see it, right? Because decal machine bakes from top. So you will not be able to see this. Um, though, when we go to bake the bounce light, you will. Uh, hold on one second, okay, there we go. So basically, to bake the bounce light, once we already put our decal in the folder right here, you see it? So here we have the emission map, so if I go open it, you see there is only the slit, there is nothing back here. Now, how do we do this? You can do it two ways. Uh, the easiest is to just get grab dock, which is like an add-on for Blender. Uh, which is pretty amazing, actually. Ryu showed me this one from Blender Bros. Um, you can go grab it. It's for baking maps, basically. It's it's a really good add-on. It's just like hit it, delete the plane that it creates, and it just bake, basically. Like if you just have the default plane, but I'll, we will do it like the vanilla way. So um, I'm gonna create a camera, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna tap into numpad 7 to go on top view, hit the decal, hit the dot in the numpad and control alt 0 to center it. Um, center the camera to view, I mean. Now hit the camera. Ah, oh, that's right. I have the... <laughs> yes, I had the trim camera actually from, uh, from thingy. Grab doc already. So I'm gonna redo it. Jesus. Okay, one second. Okay, camera. Control zero. Okay, perfect. Now we have the camera uh, from the top. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that the uh, the resolution is the same as the decal. Now, usually I bake at 124, so it's set already like that when I start Blender, but it's 512 by 512. So I have to fix it up. 512 by 512, perfect. Uh, make sure it's PNG with RGB at 16 bit. Uh, go down to, yeah, render 1000 samples, cycles, yeah, and make sure you have compositing on, so you click use render nodes, and pop a denoise node 
like here, yeah? How you pop the noise node. This is your normal setup. Once you click use nodes, just pop the noise, pop it there. There you go, connect these blasters right here. Like denoising normal in Albedo, so it's gonna denoise, denoise once it's done rendering. And anyway, now we gotta fix the camera, which is one of the most important thing. So, as I said before, um, it bakes from top. So what you wanna do is you wanna set the camera uh, to be looking from top to down. So like that, that's why I hit number seven, hit orthographic. Uh, it's two if you didn't resize the plane. Okay, perfect. So in my case it's two, so I gotta make sure that it's perfectly around. Um, and then there you go, nothing else. Um, now, uh, what I usually do also, which is really important, is set the strength to the environment to zero. You do not want to have any environmental light around. So just the light from the emission and that is it. Now, the material, you might wanna swap it to something um, more dark so that it you know reflects less you don't want you don't want too crazy reflections i mean like uh, you don't want too much bounce right like you don't want it to go too crazy otherwise it's it's just going to be too much stuff and when you go actually increase it from the decal itself like once you're done baking it it's just going to completely whiten out the whole decal you won't even you won't even see anything it's just going to wipe all the details so you might want to of course for example reduce the specular or even for example now it's five let me put the emission at two you might want to reduce the emission and increase the the material color a little bit like you got to play around with the settings a little bit to get the feel and um once you're done yeah you just say have 12 and you just bake it so you render it. I mean, at a thousand samples, it's a joke anyway because it's really small size. Even at 124, it's just gonna take you like a minute to pick such a map, right? It's it's pretty pretty easy. Okay, we're gonna save it. Save as. I go into the decal folder where I have my tutorial decal that I just made. There you go. Hit the mission. Save as. It's just gonna overwrite it, right? So now if we go back into that folder, we have it right here. So now what I can do is that, well, you can either save it or not, um, but I will not save it. But I will just, uh, actually I will not close Blender. I will just open the, the decal from here so you can just see it. There you go. So as you can see, we managed to get the, um, the emission and the bounce light, yeah? Which we couldn't see from before. Of course, it's, it's not gonna work if you like turn it this way because you cannot see the actual emitter, but like in most cases, you know, you might wanna have a hidden sort of light that is bouncing off surfaces like that. It's like really not visible but you know in a, on a bigger scale like with a more detailed decal like you will not notice but uh, of course it's still adjustable you know with the emission control you can turn it off you can pop it up but anyway this is literally ridiculous like it's just gonna take you like a couple minutes to bake a, a bloody <laughs> bounce map you know like uh, with the with the emission it's just you know it's it's super easy it's super easy But anyway, that's uh, pretty much it. That's how it's done. Um, as I said, uh, there is going to be my pack, um, which uh, which will have actually more in detail uh, tutorial, like on how to actually tweak the maps into Photoshop, change the colors after baking, and the one about the uh, the fixing the normals when they're screwed up yeah, after baking. So if you if you bake a decal that is very complex, um, I, the the actual tutorial was about this one, uh, this one right here. So, oops. So for example, this decal when it came out from the decal machine, you know, like the geometry was horrible because there were these holes. There was the the you know the the sign here. There was, you know, it would have been a nightmare to correct it. So uh, instead of going there and just start adding edge loops and blah blah blah, I just fixed the map in Photoshop. Like um, basically in this tuto in that tutorial, I I will show everything how it's done and how it works and you know like why you would do such like 
why would you need to do such a thing and you know like uh, save yourself like a couple hours of work you know like in just 10 minutes just you know it's just convenient right so go check out my pack and uh, yeah I hope you enjoy it thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time